you all know, I mean, this is a an effort where a lot of people are invested in making this happen. I mean, the, the uh, City of Culture is coming around very quickly, 2011, um, and a lot of people are very interested in, in making this happen. So here you start to see the master plan and uh, kind of more detail without the trees. We're putting trees in, but the, for, to understand this, the site, we've taken them out for the moment. So this is all on street level. Again, you can walk down here. There are benches to hang out and wait for the bus. And you walk down and then you meet this ramp and come down both sides. And then this is the area where you can sit, you can sun yourself, you can look at the water. We have suggested removing the cars. I think getting the cars out of there. You've got to find another place for the cars. They're not right there. But you can park along here so that if you're, you want to kind of play with your kid and kind of hang out here, you can drop off, you can park here. And then this, is, this would be kind of a pink or rubberized surface that has uh, play mounds that actually reach up to meet the grade here. Robin, have I missed anything here? I mean, again, part of this is to reach over and contain the ferry. So the ferry also meets Barker Park. So Barker Park now contains the ferry and we're doing that to, to, in order to kind of endorse that. And you can still drive out here. You come back in here. Into the guest marina too. Down, right, you can go down that way as well. And you know, we've basically tried to keep this as green and forested as possible to basically create a buffer for the resi and then kind of kept this open so that people can still have access. And then possibly, you know, there could be a place for a big kind of sculpture, but um, it would be great if we did something that the kids could play on and interact with as well. Next. Okay, yeah, so th those show the trees. These are the existing trees that we're keeping. And can you go back for a second? Yeah, so, so you can see this is a combination of existing trees and then added trees. Next. So these are existing, right? Yeah. Next. And then these are the trees we're adding. Again, trees that will kind of reinforce these arcs. Next. And then the, with the existing. And then uh, getting into the specifics of the major arc, you can see th these little dots are people where they're sitting on the steps. It's a really a very grand gesture. Next, please. And then the trees. Now, uh, you can start to see here, these little dots here, we'll, we'll explain what they are, but you can start to see. And then this is the, the bathroom here, which has been shoved into the slope, so it's not standing right out there, kind of commanding all that much attention. You want to kind of shove it back into the hillside. Next. So again, you know, the idea is that this arc really, I mean, it would be great. Go back one. It'd be great. We should, you know, bring in sand. I mean, they're doing that more and more. Just bring in sand during the summer, and this really could be a beach. And then you clear it off, so it could be the beach. Could be next. It could be all sorts of things. But it can really seat quite a lot of people. There could be really great festivals and marketplaces out there. Next. And then this kind of shows coming from. Yeah, this is kind of the, the lower area. And coming from the street. <coughs> And this is from across the, the, uh, the river. And you can see you know, that it, it kind of creates a, a, a nice space, but you still get a sense of the green hill and, the, and, and the, uh, the street and beyond. But the trees are nice because it starts to kind of, in a three-dimensional way, starts to recognize and create these arcs. Next. The entrance arc, again, the bus drop-off is here, and you enter in the park through here and then down. Next. And then this shows, you know, the, the street, and then there's an area of green, and you ramp down, and then you start ramping down, and then you, you actually meet the amphitheater. Next. And, and then we have the playground. And the idea you can't see here, but the idea is that it's a very sculptural playground. It's not just flat, but it's creating a, a, a landscape inside this area. And we'd like to, you know, explore maybe using this rubberized surface. You can get really great colors. And the kids really actually prefer exploring these kind of landforms more than actually being on the, on the swings. But we would combine that. So it would be something like this. And then the elements of the landscape, what we would like to do is sprinkle um, 
sculptural elements inside the existing landscape, things that we can actually insert as opposed to dig up. And um, we'd like to use something like this. These are these big concrete balls. And I also, I would also like to use these great big concrete jacks. I call them like jacks. They, they use them to hold back and stabilize slopes. We, we don't have an image of these, but the idea is that we have like tic-tac-toe, we have circles and then kind of X's, and we would pepper them in the landscape and perhaps even color them. And the kids will climb all over them. It's just kind of, it, it will look good, it will kind of refer back to the water's edge, and also they become elements that the kids would actually play on too. Next, please. Um, in terms of how people walk, uh, we kind of describe this, and then you know you can walk along the river's edge and the, and as, as well as the bike path. So it has a very strong connectivity in walking through. Next, please. Accessibility. Oh, accessibility. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, it's completely accessible if you're in a wheelchair or if you're disabled, you know, all of this you can walk down. All of this is accessible. And you, th this pathway connects to these various platforms directly. So if you're disabled, you can actually gain access to, to almost every place, every place in the park, which is good. And then this basically kind of shows how the various uses are. I've really pretty much described it where, you know, we have the passive recreation, but still things that kids can play on, event space, event space, large events, seating, and play. Next. Um, public art locations. As far as I'm concerned, any place could be public art, but, you know, there are things that we can do with lighting, with sound, with play. Um, uh, we can have standalone art, but I tend to like to have things that are kind of more integrated into the various things that activate the park itself. But lots of opportunity to incorporate artists as well as artisans who are here in Turku. And I don't know what we have here, but if there are people who are really good at ceramics or glass making or metal working, it would be really good to find out so we could actually use that in the park. And then the grading, all, all of this has been done with the intent of all these wiggly lines are existing grades. So to, to keep as much intact as possible, recognizing that you have a limited budget and also we have to build this in stages. So building this in stages actually is one of the fundamental shapers of the, of the design. Next please. So, so this, this shows what actually will end up being changed in red and the green is what actually will stay exactly as it is. And then here, you know, green is softscape, this tan is hardscape, and this is play surface. And then this kind of shows the car strategy where we have cars here. We've taken the cars out and car parking along here in the green. So we've taken out some, but not all. And phasing? This, we're suggesting, is phase one, would be the amphitheater. And I think it's probably the, uh, the right one to do because for the, for the festival in 2011, you can use this space to program for events. And it, you know, it'll be like an outdoor living room. A lot of things could happen then. And then the second phase, of course, maybe it should be this playground. We don't know. We'd have to get input from you about what you think the second phase and the third phases are. But the thing is, is that this can be broken into different phases if, if it, that's needed. And then, you know, this kind of inhabiting the existing green space with things that the kids can play with and explore that are somehow extend the play area out to the green as well. Because often green is great to look at but it can't be used. So the idea of actually inserting things that kids can play on inside the green I think is a good idea. That's it. Anyway, so thank you very thank much. Thank you. That's so interesting. We're really hoping to get this park like this. Well, we're hoping you'll like it. I mean, that <laughs> we're, we're hoping that this is kind of what you've been hoping to get to, and you've helped to choose it, and we think it's a good choice, and we're really, we think actually it works for a lot of the parameters that you've set for us. So we're very excited about it. I think it'll be a wonderful park.